Hello, families of the public schools in the Tarrytown. We're very excited that over the course of the next two weeks, we'll begin welcoming back all those who've chosen to return for five-day in-person instruction. We know how much work this has taken to get to this point. We're so thankful to our faculty, our staff, our parents, and our students for all of their efforts during these difficult times. As you know, we had to make a lot of changes in our schools last summer to comply with social distancing and county and state mandates. As we approach this next phase, it's really important to note that health and safety remain our top priority. Um, we've reconfigured some of our, cl our classroom space, some of our outdoor facilities, and some of our public spaces um, as we enter this new phase. I'd like to take you on a little tour and show you some of these changes. Our JP, Morse, and WI students begin five-day in-person instruction this Wednesday, April 7th. Here we are at JP, so let's get into the building and check out what it's going to look like. We will continue our established health and safety protocols. This includes temperature screenings and daily attestations for everyone entering our buildings. Please remember that if your child has any COVID-like symptoms, it is your responsibility to keep them home. Our custodial and maintenance staff have done an amazing job keeping our schools clean and safe. They will continue performing daily deep cleanings and sanitizing handrails and other high touch surfaces throughout the school day. One of the big changes that we're making to help keep students safe as we return five days per week and we have more children in the classrooms is to install polycarbonate barriers wherever six feet of distancing cannot be maintained. These barriers will be in classrooms across all of our schools. Teachers will have the flexibility to arrange the classrooms in the way that best fits their learning environment, and that can be changed throughout the day. In some cases, the classes may be set up for individual learning and in others for group work. As you know, students will continue wearing masks throughout the school day. The exception to that is when students are eating lunch. Our cafeterias will also have barriers installed at all tables. For the long rectangular tables, the barriers are installed in a staggered design to also ensure distancing between students. With the nicer weather arriving, we are eager to get students outside as much as possible while eating and learning. Just this week, we had 14 tents delivered, which are being installed at each of our schools in the coming days. These tents expand the school's footprint and will give our teachers and staff more flexibility for making decisions about students' learning environment and where they will eat. I hope this tour has given you an idea of what our students' day-to-day -day experience will be when they're in school five days a week. As you've heard me say many times now, we can only keep our children in school if we all do our part to stay vigilant and adhere to safety mandates. When we first opened schools in September, I asked everyone to comply with a social contract, to do their part in stopping the spread of this virus. I urge you all to continue taking this contract seriously. If your children have COVID-like symptoms, have been in contact with someone who has the virus, or of course have tested positive themselves, please do not send them to school. As we enter this phase, I'm looking forward to more of the activities and celebrations that typically mark the end of the school year. I know you are too. Let's work together to give our students the best possible end to what has been a very unique and challenging year. Thank you again for your partnership.